Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, shills, bootlickers, enemies of the state. Um, today I would like to talk about the consent of the governed. And I want to start this rant and or discussion with a very startling fact or statistic. And that is that since 1964, the re-election rate for members of the U.S. House of Representatives has never fallen below 85%. And for the U.S. Senate, the re-election rate for incumbent incumbents averages about 90%. So, for the last 46 plus years, let's say 50 years, for the last 50 years, the American people have been sending the same people back to the House of Representatives and back to the Senate over and over and over again regardless of public sentiment, outrage, mantras about throw the bums out, and constant disappointment. And we're talking about, of course, as usual, both Republicans and Dempublicans, two sides of the same party, two cheeks on the same ass, and they both stink. So, but this isn't about Congress. We all know Congress sucks. We know Congress is not responsive. We know that Congress are opportunists, opportunists insiders, players. Um, there's a reason why lawyers and millionaires take salary cuts to go into government work. Because by the time they get out of government work, they have a job that pays more than they could ever imagine working for the top special interests and lobbying groups in the world and they usually increase their wealth by 10, 20, 30, 100 fold in the time they're in Congress. Um, the insider trading doesn't really matter because they can work around investments and throw favors to their friends and their families and make that money grow and also affect legislation that directly results in profits for themselves and their cronies. So, but again, not to point the finger at them, this is to point the finger at the American people. So you complain about Congress, they have historically low approval ratings for the last 10, 15, 20 years, probably the whole 20th century. And yet the American people keep voting for them and sending them back again, again, and again. So, you know, in these last election cycles, we got some token so-called self-professed Tea Party members who are going to change things. But, of course, once they get in, they're co-opted. Um, they chose a timely message, as good political opportunists do, and adopted that ideology to get elected. They got elected, and now they're in Congress going to do whatever they want to, just like the congressmen that are, that are there. So, to get back to the original point, our government is the government, is a government by consent of its people. The American people can deny it all they want, but they've given this government the consent to govern as they have and created this great moral hazard. So, maybe this election or the election after that. Keep in mind, when you go out there and bitch and moan about Congress and keep muttering and yelling the same mantra, throw the bums out, throw all the bums out. Talk is cheap. Let's see some action. Don't just point the finger at everyone else's congressman and say they're the problem and then re-vote yours back in. I live in Washington State. I have to deal with Maria Cantwell I have to deal with Jim McDermott. I've got to deal with Reichert. I have to deal with Patty Murray. Um, I don't vote along party lines. I vote for people who seem to want to do a job for the American people and not serve themselves. So to me, those are just names, and they got to go. So just because your congressman's good to you and brings home the pork to your district and gives you lip service about 
national issues that affect all of us. This time, throw the bums out. Throw them out.